lessons I've learned after living in the Philippines for five years. Imagine going on a vacation for five years. Crazy, right? That's exactly what happened to me and my family. We came to the Philippines for a short break and then boom, the pandemic hit. Suddenly, our quick getaway turned into something much bigger, a whole new chapter in our lives. Stick with me and I'll share the lessons we've learned after living in the Philippines for five years. Hi there, it's Sally here. Alam nyo na my family and I are dual citizens of Canada and the Philippines. So we came to the Philippines for what was supposed to be a quick vacation. Mga ilang buwan lang to visit family, relax, enjoy the beaches, and maghanap na rin ng mga business opportunities. But then, the pandemic happened. Quarantine, lockdowns, travel restrictions kept us here longer than we ever imagined. What started a holiday turned into five years of rediscovering life in the Philippines. Today, I want to share with you the most valuable lessons we've learned from living here. And trust me, it's been funny, eye-opening, and incredibly peaceful. Let's dive in. Lesson number one, when life slows down, you get to catch up with yourself. Okay, picture this. We arrived in the Philippines with suitcases packed for like, what, a few weeks? And may long list ako of all the things we are going to do. But like everyone else, hindi ko rin expect na the pandemic would shut everything down. At first, I thought, how will I get anything done in this slow-paced environment? Sanay na sanay kasi ako sa hustle and grind ng Canada. Always busy, always on the go. Pero dito, life was on island time. And honestly, shocking. Nakakaloka na hindi na talaga nagbabago ang bagal ng mga bagay-bagay dito. There was no rush to do anything. Parang everyone around me was on a permanent vacation. Lalo na sa mga paperwork. Kaya yung mga processes, parang every step eh isang linggo. May isi-share akong isang nakakalokang experience sa inyo. So nag-aayos ako ng mga papeles sa isang government office. Akala ko matatapos na kasi kompleto naman na lahat ng mga documents. And it's been four months already. So dapat tapos na yung papel. So tumawag ako sa office nila. Hello ma'am, follow up ko lang po yung papel ko kung tapos na po. Ah, hello ma'am, pasensya na po. Wala po kasi yung pipirma. Out of the country po siya. Ah, ganun ba? Kailan ba kaya siya babalik? Next week po ma'am, pero hindi ko po alam kung makakapasok na kaagad siya sa office next week. So tawag ka na lang po ulit after a week. So after one week, tumawag ulit ako. Hello ma'am, dumating na po ba yung pipirma? Yes po ma'am, bumalik na po. Pero wala pa po siya sa office. Ang anong oras kaya ang dating niya? Mga 10 a.m. po. Tawag na lang po ulit kayo. Alas 10 na. Tumawag ulit ako. Hello ma'am, alas 10 na po. Okay na po yung papel ko? Ay, nasa meeting na po sila. Hindi ko po alam kung mapipirmahan po nila today or baka bukas na po. I was like, seriously? Parang forever silang busy. Kaya, patience. Kailangan mo ng napakaraming patience dito sa Pilipinas. Pero yun nga, that's the thing dito no. May understanding na hindi kailangan matapos lahat right now. May pagpabukas na lang. Bukas na ng bukas. There is a lesson in that na hanggang ngayon, I'm still learning. At first, it drove me insane. Sobrang hirap i-adjust yung mindset ko. But after a few months, guess what? I started to slow down too. When life slows down, ang dami mong oras to catch up. With yourself. Suddenly, I had time to notice things I hadn't before. The way the sun sets over the mountains, the sound of the birds chirping, at yung mga tawa ng mga anak ko habang naglalaro sila sa labas. Natutunan kong mas lalong i-enjoy yung present moment. Kahit sobrang init, natutunan ko rin mag-enjoy. Lesson number two, peace is priceless. Isa pa sa mga blessings ng pagiging stuck dito sa Pilipinas was finding a kind of peace I never experienced before. Sa Canada, life was always about the next milestone. Career goals, deadlines, parang lagi kang mahinahabol. It was exhausting. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, I found peace in the simplicity of everyday life. Ang mga tao dito, hindi nagmamadali to get to the next thing. And that kind of energy 
nakakahawa. There is a slower rhythm to life that invites you to breathe a little deeper, laugh a little louder, and appreciate the small things. Whether it's sharing a meal with family or just sitting outside during the afternoon with a book, may calmness dito na hindi ko alam na kailangan ko pala. Finally, I had a time to ask myself, ano ba talagang gusto ko sa buhay? Ano ang importante? And that leads me to my next lesson. Lesson number three, time to rethink what really matters. During the lockdowns, everything slowed down. Sa totoo lang, sobrang daming oras para mag-isip. And that gave me time to reflect on what is truly important. Alam nyo ba? Hindi pala yung hustle, job titles, or endless race for success ang mahalaga. What really matters is my family, my happiness, and my passions. Sa Canada, it felt like everything was so rushed. Lagi kong iniisip yung future, yung next big thing na kailangan kong ma-achieve. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, I finally had the chance to pause and ask, What kind of life do I really want to live? Na-realize ko na while success is important, peace is priceless. Hindi ko na kailangang i-chase ang next thing just to feel fulfilled. What I needed was balance between work and family, between ambition and rest. It gave me a chance to realign my priorities in life, focus on what makes me genuinely happy, and redefine what success means to me. For me, success isn't just about career milestones anymore. It's about spending quality time with my kids, being present in their lives, and pursuing passions that truly light me up. Lesson number four, rediscovering my passions. With all this newfound time, I started rediscovering my passions. Sa Canada, lagi kong sinasabi, when I have time, gagawin ko to. Gagawin ko yan. Pero guess what? Dito sa Pilipinas, I finally had the time. I started diving into projects I'm passionate about, whether it's building my YouTube channel, working on my businesses, or taking up hobbies na hindi ko pa nagagawa noon. I realized na when life isn't always about the grind, you have the mental and emotional energy to explore what really excites you. And let me tell you, this shift, game changer. Biglang, hindi na lang trabaho para kumita ang ginagawa ko. I was working on things that truly fulfilled me. I started creating with purpose. And that has made all the difference. Ang sarap pala sa feeling na may oras ka to nurture your passions. And now, I make sure na I always set aside a space in my life for the things that matter most to me. Lesson 5, Family First. The True Gift of Time. One of the biggest lessons I learned in this five years is the value of family time. Being in the Philippines, close to extended family, has been such a blessing. Sa Canada, it was so easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of work and activities. Lagi coming on the go. But here, I learned the importance of just being with family. We've spent more time together than ever before, and that is something I wouldn't trade for the world. Whether it's dinner with relatives, trips to the provinces, or just lazy afternoons at home, this time has been precious. At the end of the day, na realize ko na family is what really matters. No matter how busy life gets, making time for the people you love is what will truly bring you happiness and fulfillment. Alam mo, minsan, hindi natin napapansin kung gaano kaimportante ang oras until we get the chance to slow down and reflect. This past five years in the Philippines taught me that life isn't always about rushing. Sometimes, it's about enjoying the journey and appreciating the small moments. Now that you've heard about my experience living in the Philippines, I want to hear from you. From those of you na dito na rin nakatira or kahit nagbakasyon lang, what's one thing you've learned about life in the Philippines? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, don't forget to check out this next video where I share my top places to live or retire in the Philippines. Click right here. You don't want to miss it.